how's it going guys Linux today back with another distro review it's been a while since I've done one of these I've been taking a short break so we are back we're gonna be taking a look at Scepter Linux brand new operating system I believe it's built off of um, what is it um Debian yeah Debian KDE Plasma so let's take a look at the download section um, you have um, download. It'll take you to SourceForge. We've got the signature text file with the MD5 on it. Then we got the ISO. So I'm gonna go quickly download this one, and now let's get to the initial install and review. All right, guys, we are at the the bootloader here, um, Grub, and I just figured out that this one is a uh, Number one on Distro Watch. Probably because it's probably a newer, uh, newer one. It uses Tor technologies. I also realized probably what that SEP Tor is on it. And we have a couple different options here: Live Graphical Install and Install. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick Graphical Install. Close out of this little message. So it looks really similar to. An Ubuntu install. So I'm gonna go English, English, United States, and it's gonna find hardware and all that. This is on a virtual machine, so it's probably not gonna matter too much. It's gonna detect the link, and it's going to auto config the uh, IP address. All fairly normal. So now we have to set a root password. I typed that in wrong. That doesn't match. We can also have an option to take a screenshot for some reason. I'm going to click continue. Linux daily. Click that. That's going to be the username as well. Type in passwords for that user account. Click continue. Um, that's fine. And then it's going to um, find disks, partition it. This is just the auto install. Um, now if you had a different operating system already on you wanted a dual boot, this is where you would do that. It should have an option saying um, install alongside. But I don't have anything, so I'm gonna click guided. Use the entire disk. Yep, my 132 gig hard disk. I'm just gonna keep it all in one partition that works for me. And then there's your summary. I'm gonna click continue, and then write changes. Click yes and continue. So this point is probably gonna take a while, so I'll get back to you when that is complete. All right, guys, it is asking us to um, install the Grub bootloader. So in, um, install it to the master boot record is what we are going to do. Click continue. Um, that's the only partition on our drive. So now we just do that. And I like how it tells us what command is actually running right there. So now it's just gonna finish the installation shouldn't be too much longer has a real similar install to Ubuntu actually Alright guys, it looks like the installation is complete, so I am going to click continue. You're just going to remove the live the live software and should reboot.
it is going to finish the installation. Alright guys, we have booted into Scepter Linux. I'm going to log in with my very secure password. Has a neat animation right there. So it looks like it's oriented for security, given by um, that. I don't know too much about this one. You got root access right there, settings, synaptic, system monitor, console. And this is um for a lot of KDE stuff. Let's go back to applications. So it does have LibreOffice. I'm going to assume that the other one is for I'll leave your office as well. We got GIMP, Gwenview, KColor, more e LibreOffice, um, image scanning application. What else do we got? And then more color chooser. Under internet, we got TextChat, Onion Share. Um, Can't quite pronounce um quite RSS. Um not quite sure what that is. Richto Chat I am Thunderbird Tor browser. So it does include Tor in there as well. K3B G C View K Mix Pulse Audio Volume Control. And that is in um Russian. I don't miss the media player. That is quite interesting. So we got firewall configuration, K info center. These are a lot of KDE. Not a big fan of Synaptic either. Under system, we got Dolphin, G uh, G Debbie, G Parted, K three B, K uh, K info center. Um, K info center cannot speak today. And a lot of um, oh, let's go back. A lot of um, anon um, tools to help you stay anonymous. On this one. Under utilities, yeah, yeah, quite the um, let's go back. I metadata, um, yep. It looks like it uh. Encryption tools, yeah, it has a lot of them, um, of that kind of stuff. So this is um, Scepter Linux. What can we do with customization? No K, okay, uh, I'm having a lot of issues here with this. All applications. S uh, let's settings. I saw that. I accidentally. There we go. System settings. So it's kind of an older theme to it. It looks fairly lightweight to me. Workspace theme. So it has its own kind of theme. You can set it to breeze dark or breeze. Let's click apply here. I think this one has more of a KDE kind of feel, but I'm going to put it back to the default. Desktop theme. You got air, breeze, uh, dark, breeze light, breeze, and oxygen which I'm going to leave at the default which is breeze dark cursor theme I'm just gonna set it to high contrast just for this video then splash screen you have scepter which is that neat animation breeze and none and then you got all your KDE um, desktop behavior things as well desktop effect and you got all these show FPS show paint desktop cube and yeah 
So, this is a little brief overview of Scepter Linux. It's one of those Linux distributions that help you stay anonymous on the internet. It's kind of like a, um, a competitor to, to a, uh, a Tails system or a Keeb system. It's got Tor Browser and it's got pretty much all those tools that they've got. So I'm just going to cancel that because I hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next one.